even before I was born, all the planets had been found already. The Greeks found the first six, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. And obviously we lived on the Earth. The seventh, Uranus, was found in 1781, then Neptune in 1841. And though it's no longer a planet, we have Pluto in 1930. Can you imagine being in a field in which everyone thinks everything has been found, that there are no more discoveries to be made? It must be horrible. And in that sense, it's a pleasure I don't think the same. You see, I'm not content to rest upon the laurels of the past when there's a future to be revealed. So I looked closer and began my search. It started with questions as all great science does. Why does our sun rotate at an oblique angle? Why do some celestial bodies at the edge of the solar system move in peculiar orbits? My answer? A ninth planet. Of course, there are detractors, those who claimed a distortion in data, and others just unwilling to accept such a radical proposition. However, it's not the first time such queries of motion led to planetary discovery. Both Pluto and Neptune are proof of that. In terms of the planet's characteristics, I'd hypothesize it'd be made up of ice and gas. It's far too distant from the Sun to be of terrestrial composition and would likely reflect the other ice and gas bodies that exist beyond Neptune. However, from the perturbations in the Sun's tilt and the degree of peculiarity in the planet's orbits, I'd say the planet would likely have four times the circumference of the Earth, as well as ten times its mass. So if it is that big, I don't think it'll stay hidden for long. What with the improvements in telescopic technology, I would estimate it would take only five to ten years to find it, since current telescopes are at a magnitude of about 22, compared to the magnitude of two this planet should have. The Subaru Telescope, or the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope in Chile, should probably be able to handle it, seeing as the latter is aiming to be done by 2022 and have an identifying magnitude of 26. At this point, though, I feel bad for those astronomers and astrophysicists after me. I don't imagine there'd be a tenth planet for them to discover. It'd be too far afield that not even the sun's gravity could keep them from drifting away. But before mourning the impossibility of a tenth, I am already anxiously imagining the ninth. I've even considered what its name might be. Though the International Astronomical Union does regulate the naming of cosmic bodies, it hasn't spoken at all about what a ninth planet would even be named. But I imagine it would be given a name from myth, something to rival and suit its own importance. Thank you for watching another Question video, all you loyal subscribers. Here at Question, we thank you so much for helping this channel grow. While if you're new, hit that like and subscribe button to get even more great Question videos in the future. To aid in that, we here at Question have put together a Patreon for our channel, so check for more information in the description below and see if it's something you'd also like to subscribe to. Until next time, thank you and remember, keep asking questions.